With more on this, James Kallstrom, former assistant director in charge of the FBI. Jim, good to see you tonight. So, you know, the CIA didn't release this stuff publicly, but the reports came out that they believed that Russia had hacked these emails and, and had done so to interfere, had interfered with the presidential election. Now we find out the FBI is not on board with that conclusion. And the director of national intelligence says, look, I can't say that the CIA is wrong, only that they can't prove intent. So do you think that some of our friends in the media in particular got a little ahead of their skis in saying Russia wanted Trump to win and interfered with the election to make it so? Uh, first off, Megan, you know, this hacking is a terrible thing. It's been going on for, what, decades? <laughs> A long, long time. I mean, all my all of my government records were disclosed by the Office of Personnel Management. They had very weak security, and obviously the Democratic National Committee had weak security. And you know, just the plethora of other organizations that have been hacked and continue to be hacked. So you know, was it the Russians? I don't know. Uh, does it surprise me that the FBI doesn't agree with the agency? No. Uh, they have different standards for releasing these types of opinions. Right. And the, and the director of national security, I, I think, probably is the, the exclamation point here. But whether or not, I mean, I don't agree with foreign countries involving themselves in our elections. But what we're talking about here, you know, the notion that the Russians swayed the election. How about the fact that the information that was released might have swayed it? In other words, uh, the, the, the major media was in bed with the Democratic National Committee. John Podesta and others were sending questions over to the press to be answered. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were roving gangs of people hired by the Democratic National Committee to go and disrupt Trump events. I mean, these are maybe the facts that might have had an opinion uh, with certain people on how they voted. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the notion, and, and, the, and the public should understand, this is not about hacking into the voting systems per se. This isn't about the actual total votes. What they're talking about here is the Russians put a, put a thumb on the scale. But I mean, why would, think about this. I mean, I don't know if they did or not, but why would the Russians pick somebody who the uh, odds make his head is maybe a 10% chance of winning the election. Well, because they, they, the hacks occurred back in spring of 15, so they didn't know that Donald Trump was going to be the Republican exactly, nominee exactly. then. But, exactly, but, when, yeah. but when were the emails leaked to WikiLeaks? That's the question, because what they seem to be saying, again, these are, these are not reports that have been made public, right. but what they seem to be saying is that they, there, were, there were perhaps hacks of Republicans as well. John McCain seemed to be suggesting that today. But right. the only ones that got given to WikiLeaks to, make, to be made public were of the Dems. And as you know, while those leaks made the Democrats look terrible, um, who knows what it would have been in the Republican ones, right? They, those well, could have been just as bad. Who the heck knows? M Megan, they could have been just as bad, or maybe they weren't bad at all. Right. I mean, we have no idea. I mean, I mean, you know, for... Uh, but that's to your point of, you know, that's why it's, if, <laughs> if Russia wanted Trump to win, that's why it tells you something that they only released to WikiLeaks, the Democrat leaks. Uh, Megan, who knows? I mean, I think it's, you know, the Democrats just can't get over the fact that they lost this election. I mean, they ought to be looking at the fact that the Democrats and the Republicans, for that matter, you know, have ignored the middle class of the United States for the last four decades. Mm -hmm. You know, they or have just be a better person. You know, like I always say, you know, in 2016, you actually have to be a good person. It's no longer enough to pretend. So don't give the yeah. questions to Donna Brazil, who gives them to Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And like, as to your point, just just be better, yeah. and then maybe I mean, you won't worry about yourself, the hack. Conduct yourself in an honorable manner, and maybe nobody will have any. Uh, any, any uh, you know, really methodology to release anything that's nasty because you haven't been a nasty person. But, you know, what is so hard to understand that our middle class who's been driven into, uh, you know, economic state of depression, uh, you know, and who nobody's really cared about uh, for many, many years, you know, the yeah. plumbers, the carpenters, the, you know, the people that work with their hands, the, all these people out there, you know, what is so unusual and so surprising that these people would finally want to change, you know, in what goes on in Washington. I mean, I don't think that's the least bit surprising. Jim, it's great to see you.